Hey, what's up guys, Metaphor here, and today's video is my final settings video with some secret settings in here. I guarantee you, you did not know all of these existed. You might know some of these ones. I guarantee you didn't know all of them. This is going to be a normal settings video with some secret stuff uh, sprinkled in as well. Let me know in the comments down below if you knew everything. If you did, I think you're lying. I think you're lying if you knew everything here. There's definitely going to be something you didn't know, so check it out. Okay, first things first, my settings. Uh, obviously I play on mouse and keyboard. My in-game sensitivity is 2.75. I play 2000 DPI. Uh, so my set, my sensitivity isn't really that insane, but it's all right. I think it's definitely a little bit above average, but it, it ends up evening out a little bit because I play on such a low in-game sense. Uh, I, but the weird thing is I do play on legacy MW. So this is like wars on one aiming. If you guys have been struggling with aiming on a keyboard and mouse, I do recommend trying legacy MW. I mean, it might even feel better for controller, but I can't speak on that. However, custom sensitivity per zoom becomes an option and I click on that and I have all of these zooms right here. So you can see like this is for red dots, this is for like the ACOGs and this is for like the, the big snipers and stuff. You can tune each one specifically. I kind of have them all the same just so that it, you know, it's more fluid. Um, but that's pretty much that for the aiming. The secret stuff is going to be in a little bit. These are just my normal keybinds because people for some reason still are looking for my keybinds. I don't mind showing that to people. Uh, there you go. We're just going to slowly go through all these. You can just skip through. There's going to be uh, little little timestamps at the bottom of the screen that you guys can click on if you guys want to uh, just skip to the juicy stuff. So I'm assuming that's what a lot of you guys clicked here for. Um, but these are just my normal key bindings. Nothing too crazy. A lot of people ask me how I why why. Uh, I actually press Q right here and I use my mouse wheel at the same time. So kind of just APM spamming at that point. But you know, it is what it is. It's basically all the settings right there for key binds. Now we're going to get into some graphic settings here. Again, this is still pretty normal stuff here. Nothing too crazy um, on the graphic side. I have the brightness on default. Uh, what I do have, uh, my monitor, I am using the Alien. I'll show the exact product in the description of the video. It's the Alienware 2721D, I believe it's called. Um, if you guys do just so happen to have an Alienware monitor, I have my response time on fast and my dark stabilizer on three. Um, if you guys have that, if you don't, I, I don't know how every other monitor works, but that's what I have on mine. I'm sure that there's similar settings on monitors. Obviously, if you're on a TV, you're SOL, but it is what it is. Um, this is what I'm running for my upscaling. I'm on a 1440p monitor, like I just said. These are the best settings for FPS. Now, when I'm recording for gameplays, I actually play on high settings because I want my game to look better for y'all. Um, so, if you guys are trying to inch out every bit of FPS here, this is what you should go with. Uh, pretty standard stuff. Nothing's too, too, too crazy here. Some of the settings are going to say that they're on high, even though they're on low. And that's because they actually do give better FPS. I don't know why. It just is what it is. I don't know the science behind the whole thing. I just know it works. And this is everything that uh, I'm showing you for the, the graphics. Now, this is one of the first secret things. I'm going to show you guys on screen in a second here what this actually looks like. Um, but if you go into interface and you scroll down to your HUD bounds, what you can actually do is you can lower this to zero or you can find whatever works better for you. And what this actually does, if you have it on 100, you'll have the normal. This is what everyone plays on. But if you lower this, you can actually get your mini map just above the top left middle of your screen. So depending on how far you sit across from your monitor, uh, this can actually help your map awareness insanely by able to check your radar nonstop. We'll notice this instantly if you change the setting. Now, this is going to be one that will take a little bit of getting used to. But I promise you, if you find a little sweet spot in here, like typically like I play on 100 to 100, I'm not going to cap and say that I that I that I use this because I don't. I, I'm fine with the way that I the way that I have it. But this is something that a lot of people do and people just don't notice that this is a setting that you can actually do. So you're going to see it on the screen. Uh, it's going to be on the screen right now. And guys can mess around with that like i said you have to go to interface and then find it here also for those of you guys who are just trying to look for specific settings if you see something on here um all you have to do if you're trying to go into your settings is click on search and you can just type in anything so if you wanted like aim assist settings boom you can do this uh you can also favorite it i believe uh, uh i don't know i can't remember how to favorite things but i know there is a way to favorite I can't figure, I don't remember how, but anyway, so that's one of the secret settings that a lot of people don't know. Now, another thing that I do want to show people that is kind of a big deal that, you know, has been talked about before. It's actually been an issue for games crashing before, etc., etc. 
and that is your calling cards and weapon camos. Now, this is something that a lot of people don't know about and a lot of people don't think about. But if you're trying to inch everything out, what you actually want to do is you want to run no camos on your gun or blueprints. So if you're running this gun, you can run whatever you want for attachments, but you want to make sure you don't have a charm on your gun, you don't have default camos. This used to have a big problem in Warzone 1 where if you had a, or I think it was in Vanguard, if you had a charm on your gun, it would like make your gun less accurate or something. But there's been people that have been saying for a long time now that if you have um, nothing on your gun or anything like that, it can help with lag and it can just hit registration in general. I don't know 100% exactly how truthful and down to like, you know, the nitty gritty that is. But I do know in the past that there have been crashing issues with camos, charms, there's been weapon issues with charms. These are all things that have happened. And if you want just a smooth experience and you don't want to run into any of those issues, run your guns with, you have any attachment you want, but don't have a charm on it, don't have a camo. And for the calling cards, now this one is something that, again, has been talked about quite a bit. I don't actually know how to get to my calling cards though. Okay, calling card. So you guys see I have the top 250 calling card. Apparently I don't have an emblem on. I don't know why. But for example, what you want to do is you want to put on an emblem that isn't animated. An emblem emblem that you got basically when the game first came out. So whenever the game first launched, actually I think all the emblems in this game are animated. Maybe not. You basically want to have the least amount of things moving on your on your game as possible. So putting on a default emblem, default calling card will actually help you out with those things again the calling card emblem thing can cause crashes they have in previous uh, games and it's not something i do because it honestly doesn't really happen to me it doesn't happen that much in general but these are just things if you want to min max your game you know what i'm saying like this is for the people who want every inch out of it i don't expect everybody to change their hud i don't expect everything like that um but yeah anyways onto the audio for some more normal settings pc audio is the best audio you can run on the game in my opinion these are all the settings that i have right here and we do play with loudness eq on so this is a pc only setting um for some of you guys you're not going to have loudness eq on your pc i'm going to show you guys how to make it work real quick so you're going to want to press your windows key you're going to want to go to sounds here then you want to click on playback you want to go to wherever your audio is right click that go properties then you're going to go to en enhancements and where it says loud CQ, you're going to want to click that on. Then you're also going to want to click on settings right here and you want to drag it to the left to short. This is going to give you the best audio possible. And this actually makes the game super, super easy to play audio wise. This game has been changing the audio almost every patch silently. They don't really talk about it, but this triumphs everything. It's just, it's just so much better than everything that I've, I've seen. I've seen people come out with audio packs try different audio packs that people have, have used loudness eq pc audio this is how i hear everything i get i get questions every single video bro you're wall hacking how did you know the guy was there bro you're driving in a car how do you hear the guy walking around the house this is how i hear it this is how a lot of the people who play on pc can hear things so there's a distinct advantage there for pc over console it is what it is um but that is the audio advantage right there and that pretty much wraps it up for the settings. I covered the weapon camos, uh, the calling cards, the HUD, and the loudness EQ. So basically the secret settings, just for people who didn't know, it, I was talking about the HUD, was talking about the loudness EQ and the calling card and weapon thing. Obviously everybody knows about loudness EQ at this point, but I'm pretty sure the HUD thing is something that a lot of people don't know and I really recommend giving it a try. Who knows, you might vibe with it, Another one is static crosshair. You definitely want to have this on because the crosshairs will actually move around and stuff if you don't have a static crosshair on. Highly recommend that. Let me see if I can find this other setting real quick. There's a center dot as well. So I actually have the center dot on as well. This basically helps you with your centering. So when you're running around, you'll notice there's a white dot in the middle of my screen. That's what the center dot does. It does help out with your initial centering. You basically can tell where you're going to ADS in because there's always going to be a dot in the middle of your screen, as you can see uh, here. So this is really helpful. You use that with static crosshairs. You're going to have better aim instantly and just overall help your game out tenfold. If you guys do enjoy the video and you found anything new, please leave a like and comment on this. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys are enjoying your or you're new, please drop a sub. We upload every single day 
and we are gonna be killing it on mw3 so thank you guys so much for all the support lately i hope everybody has a great day peace guys